Welcome to this Ross question and answer video tutorial. My name is Marco Arruda and today I'm going to show how we can solve the problem of this user. And he's trying to publish and subscribe to an array of vector as a message. So basically he has a vector of points, distance points with 11 elements inside and he's trying to publish these values in a single message and this message may have more fields, not just the, the vector. Okay, so in order to do to do that, to s show how we can solve the problem, I'm gonna use the RDS ROS Development Studio provided by the Construct. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one just following the link in the description of this video, and you'll be able to access this environment. You can see my in the video. So let's start creating a new project here. I'm gonna call it Ross question answer messages. I will put the same for the description. And great, our project's ready. Let's open it. Let's wait a few seconds until you have the, the environment ready. I'm gonna hide the notebook here on the left because we're not gonna use this time. And let's start creating a new package. So here we have our terminal. Let's get inside the Catkin workspace. And let's create our package. I'm gonna call it my package. And it depends on raw C. Uh, it's gonna put also the standard messages and geometry messages. Okay, our package is done, it's ready. And let's start creating a new message. That's what the user is looking for. A message to publish everything he needs. Okay, so first we have to create this, this folder called message, msg. And inside it, let's put the, our message. I'm gonna call it my message dot, dot message. That's important. And to publish the 2D points that the user has, let's use geometry messages slash point, which is actually 3D point, but we can just ignore the Z value. Okay, and it also is a an array, so we have to use the brackets here, and let's call it points. Also, we may need another fields, another values to be published with uh, this array. So let's create here an integer, call it another field, just to have something more. Okay, and. That's it, our message is ready. Before generating this message, you have to configure our package XML file. Basically, what we need to do is to add here some dependencies. So, in order to build this package, we need this message generation. And to run our nodes inside the package, we need the message runtime. So, that's what we need to add here. And it's done. Let's put it bigger. And also the CMake list file. This is a make file, so let's use it here. Great. And for the CMake file, we have first of all here at the beginning, find package. We have to add the message generation package, which is gonna be used to generate a message. And here add message files. So as you can see, we have to create the message in the message folder. Let's add this file here, just on file. And it's called my message dot message. Okay, the same name we are using here. Next step, generate messages. 
we have this command here and geometry message is a dependence our, of our message because we are using it here geometry messages so generate messages considering the geometry messages okay and in the cat king package instruction We have to say that it depends on everything we have created and message runtime. That's it. Let's try to compile and generate our message. So catkin make inside the catkin workspace folder. There is our message and it's done. Let's source the devil setup bash file and let's check if our message is there. So my message. There it is. Let's take a look on it. Ross message show my package my message. Okay, great, that's exactly what we have created. And let's go to the publisher and to the subscriber. So first of all, let's create a, another folder here. I'm gonna call fo Oops, actually we have already this folder source. So I'm gonna just create my publisher, C++. And let's start with a template. I have it ready and let's go line by line to see what is happening. So first of all we are using, of course we are using ROS and geometry messages point. We have also to include our new message so it comes from my package and the name of the message. And we are also using the vector library. So the user is using uh, an object from the class point, which comes from OpenCV. In my case, I don't have OpenCV, I'm not using OpenCV here, so I'm just simulating an object. Actually, it's a struct. I'm calling it point, and it has the, the attributes x and y, okay? And finally, in our main function, we are initializing our node. Let's call it my publisher, a node handle object, that's necessary a publisher object so from the node handle advertise we are going to publish this kind of message the one we have created so let's publish it to my topic and that's the rate we are going to publish so for each two seconds we are publishing one message okay let's create a, an object for the message and let's populate the another field the one we have created here in my message another field which is an integer okay so now let's create a vector because the user has a vector of points here let's create one I, st I started creating an array with 11 values inside and here, here we have the points objects <coughs> let's populate them with different values just to have something different and we can we can check when we are when we have the the message being published okay and finally the vector so i'm declaring here std std vector vector of point it's called my vector and here i'm just using the values from this array and putting everything inside the point vector Okay. Here in the loop control, I'm using this count just to to count the number of iterations and populate the another field value to see something different happening when you when we are going to to see the messages coming. Okay. And here is the important part. So inside the message object, we are going to 
put the values of the vector in the points attribute okay that comes from our message so here we have geometry messages point vector called points and that's exactly the the one we are populating here so in order to do that first of all I'm clearing the points array and then pushing the values to this array okay so I'm converting here inside this iteration the values that comes from the vector so for each object inside this vector I'm creating a geometry message point and using the x and y values that comes from the vector and just putting zero to the z point because it's not important We're, the user is not using this value okay and finally push back to put the value inside the, the array okay a ROS info just to see the node is running here we are publishing the message it's very important don't forget about it and ROS spin was just mandatory stuff okay so let's try to compile it let's go to the CMake lists file uh, we are creating a new executable so add executable let's call it my publisher and it comes from the file my publisher C++ and target link libraries let's put in a single line I prefer like this the name of the executable my publisher my publisher my publisher okay great let's try to compile it Great, so it's done. Now let's source again our setup bash file just to have everything in our terminal environment and let's run the node. So the node can, is inside my package and the name of the node, my publisher. Okay, the name of the executable. And it's publishing something. Uh, just a detail here we have to to start a simulation <coughs> sorry because the clock of our in our system is binded to the simulation clock okay so now we have the publisher and it's working let's open a new terminal here and let's see the messages that are coming so rust topic list and here is our topic my topic so rust topic echo my topic and here are here is the okay of course we have also to source the devil folder here because this terminal doesn't know the the new message and let's subscribe to this topic great so here we have our message we have the points you can see they are different so first point zero then one two three four five six seven until ten so we have eleven points here and the another field which is being increased every iteration so twenty six twenty seven and etc okay great so now let's create a publisher to see how we can access the values that comes from this message in order to do that I'm gonna create a new file here I'm gonna call it my subscriber C++ and this one is smaller it's much simpler so it also depends on the ROS library geometry messages point and my package my message okay actually we're not using geometry messages here basically what we have here is the ROS objects so we are initializing a node I'm calling my subscriber, creating a node handle object, 
and a subscriber, call it sub, subscribing to this topic, my topic, and I'm binding the callback function here, which is defined at the beginning of the file, so void callback is receiving a message of the kind we have just created, and the object message, okay? In order to see the values that are coming, I'm just printing here the another field value, and also the first point that comes from that array we have created. So the first point here, zero, we must have the zero value for x and y. Okay, so let's compile it. Let's open this make file and create new instruction to, to add this executable. So my subscriber, the name of the file is equal, my subscriber is C++ and target link libraries for the my subscriber executable. Great, so let's try to compile. There is our file, subscriber, and it's done. So let's start again running the publisher, executable. So we are publishing the values again. And in the another terminal, let's take a look. Let's source again, bash file. And let's run my package, my subscriber, okay. So here we are subscribing that message and we can see the another field value is being increased every iteration, every new message and the first point that is always zero. Okay, so basically that's it. I, uh, we are solving the problem in a very simple way, showing how you can publish then an array of points of 2D points, actually you are using a 3D message to use to do that, but you can just ignore the Z value here. And that's it guys, uh, I hope it can be useful for you. If you liked this video and if you want to receive every day a new video about ROS, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you, bye!